An illusion? No, it felt too real to be an illusion. Those things we saw flickering in and out, that's exactly what I saw earlier this morning. <gasps> Does this mean the Amanagrash is real? Wait, what? Ahem! Oh, behold! The Amanakreish has come, just as your princessin had prophesied. Come, my people, a new chapter awaits us. Indeed, main Fräulein. We all have witnessed this miracle with our own eyes, and now is the time to celebrate the creation of a new world. Rejoice! <laughs> Welcome to the Amanakreish! He looks so happy. Paimon doesn't have the heart to interrupt her right now. Oh, she doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. Does that just come with being an experienced adventurer, or...? If this isn't an illusion, we ought to go and investigate. I got an idea. If you hurt yourself in a dream, you wake up right away, don't you? Um, hmm. Yes, you have a point. Right? So come on, Kazaha. Hit me. Uh, I'd rather not. Uh, how about you hit me instead? But that'll hurt real bad. Hey, there'll be no need for any of that. Just leave it to us. Um, hey, Traveler, can Paimon hit you? <laughs> I like your senses of humor, me hearties. An illusion. So, talking boats and squirrels are just an illusion to humans, huh? Now, now, it's understandable, old chap. Haven't you heard? As humans grow older, they forget many important things and lose many of their abilities. Aye, so they do. A pity, to be sure. Thinking back, in all those years I spent sailing with the fleet, I would have never imagined that one day I'd be laughing over something like this. Well then, me lads and lasses, don't you want to take a wee gander at all the places you're so curious about? Of course, but how do we get there? Look, here. At what? Blimey, at me, of course. Oh, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the smartest chip you'll find in all of these parts. The name's... Uh... Just call me whatever takes your fancy. Don't you have a name? That I do. I just can't remember it. All I know is that I came here from Inazuma. In that case, Paimon shall name you... <gasps> Mitaburu! How's that? All the other ships in Inazuma seem to have names ending in Ru, too. Mitaburu. Ha! <laughs> That'll do nicely. You're lucky to have met me. I can sail through the choppiest seas with ease. There isn't a wave out there that can capsize me. So, come aboard, and I'll take you wherever you'd like to go. Ah, how very kind of you, old chap. Unlike that Animo Archon who abandoned us here. You know, the Animo Archon of Mondstadt. Don't you know? Some of these islands used to be Mondstadt's mountaintops. Once upon a time, the Animal Archon sliced them off to neaten the place up and chuck them into the ocean. My great, 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 uh, great grandfather was on one of the mountaintops and got sent flying here along with it. Wretched Animal Archon. How could that happen? And we've been living here for generations since then. <laughs> Fortunately, there were a few other squirrel families that got stranded on these islands as well, so we built ourselves a kingdom here. The good thing is that there are no predators or competitors around. All the pine cones on this island are ours for the taking. The bad thing is, we're stuck here. Didn't see that coming. Sounds like the Imranachtreich is a kingdom of squirrels. <gasps> Hold thy tongue! Paimon, please do not make such slanderous statements. The Imanakreish is, of course, a kingdom of night ravens. Hey, lad. Yes, you. 
You're from Inazuma, aye? That makes us brothers, ha! <laughs> Every young lad of Inazuma has to pluck up the courage to set sail on an adventure one day. So, are you coming? <laughs> to set sail is to leave one's homeland and travel far away. Aye. You need lots of courage and just a dash of heartlessness. Cause once you leave, you may never return. But if you stay, you're forever a prisoner in your own heart. <laughs> Inspiring words, Mitoboru. And you're right. The Wanderer's spirit runs in my blood. I'll go with you. My friends, are you coming too? I want to take a look at this strange phenomena on that island. Also, I smell ancient timber and waterproof varnish on this boat. The scent is indeed from Inazuma, so I believe he speaks the truth. Huh. Well, what does everyone think? Oz, lay down the gangplank! Thy princessin shall take to the seas! Let's all go! It'll definitely be an experience! Ha! <laughs> Great! And we're off! Safe travels! Hey, friend! Your eyes betray your thoughts. You still look very bemused. Oh, come now! you see me acting surprised at the sudden arrival of you and your party? Well then, I'm sure we can get along quite amicably. If you want to know where the most scrumptious pine cones are, come find me anytime. <sighs> Onstat, I wonder what it's really like. Good going, lads and lassies. Mitoboru admires your bravery. How long have you been here? Oh, it's not your first time. Ha! <laughs> well, I never. We're almost there. Please take all your personal belongings with you, and mind your step as it- Look! There's something over there! Well... It's... Let's take a closer look. I certainly didn't expect to see you here. This is a bonsai pot, right? It's nice, but it looks like it's been a little neglected. This bonsai was in my family for many generations. Sadly, it ended up in a Tenryo Commission warehouse in my generation. <laughs> One thing you might not know about my past is that I spent some time as one of Inazuma's most wanted fugitives. I suspect this bonsai was confiscated during my long time on the run. Fugitive? Oh. Life throws all kinds of hardships at us. I doubt a single person in this world lives a truly carefree life. 
So the bonsai pot belonged to your ancestors? Seems a shame to leave it empty like this. Huh. Kaza, what do you think about maybe putting a little something inside it? <laughs> All right. Though I still don't understand why it has appeared here. I can give that a try. decor here. It's like the inside of a grand mansion. I don't think this is a perilous maze. It's somebody's home. Most curious. What secrets lie within this place I shall surely uncover. This letter was written by Kazuha's father. So keeping bonsai plants really does run in the family. Hmm. But the fact that we're even here and could see his father's notes, it just seems so unbelievable. Looks like a letter Kazaha wrote while he was traveling. Oh, what a sad letter. 
Lord Kazuha. Gotcha. The wind knows me. As one with wind and cloud. Teamwork is true. Punishment. Yeah. Things are about to get dicey. Quietly now. Into the wind. Shiver. Here comes the catch. this? Quietly now. Everybody, stand back. Judgment. Busted. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> 
The flesh resides in society, while the heart yearns for the natural world. Such has been the way of the Kaidaharas for many generations. Kazuha, the future of this clan will one day be in your hands. When that time comes, remember to always stay true to yourself. I heard an old man say something about the Kaedeharas. Sounds like it might be Kazuha's grandfather. Listen carefully, Kazuha. A Kaidahara blade is not forged for the purpose of harming people. Take it easy. Father, what are you carving? <laughs> it's a rock garden. I'm modeling it after the scenery I saw on my travels abroad. It'll go with my bonsai later. Work has been so busy these years, I've barely had a moment to spend with my grandson. I hope he doesn't take after me. When he's older, he should get out there and see more of the world. I believe the other voice belongs to Lord Kazuha's father. Oh, I see. We have ventured into Lord Kazuha's memory. There you are!